Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Keely Allen and welcome to this week's video. So, easy house plants. Last week we had crawling house plants. I will leave the link to that down below if you'd like to see that and you happen to miss it. Some really nice ones in there. But for this week, I thought I'd pick out, they're not the only easy house plants, of course, but some of my easy variegated house plants because I know a lot of people like variegates. Not everyone, but a lot of them do. I have a few different types as well. It's not just philodendron or anything like that. So if you like like to see what my current top easy variegate plants are, then keep on watching. No particular order as normal, guys. No particular order. Also, yes, I look ridiculous. I, no, honestly, I look, I seriously, look, like, <laughs> no one should see me look like this, guys. No one, no one ever. But I've been working today in the shop. I don't know why this is tucked in. Part of the reason is to keep my mic tucked in and it's actually just dropped down. So now it's going to drop down one leg. Great. Love it. Oh, it has just dropped down one leg. Oh my God, my mic pack. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally touching my leg. Oh no. Right. Anyway, no particular order. Number one. Here we go. I'm going to have to move this. I'm going to have to move this. I can't. I can't do this. Let's just hang it out. I'm going to dangle it out because I feel like that is actually better than the what I was just doing. So that's better. I don't know why I didn't do that. The first super easy variegated house plant that I have to show you is one that has had a tumultuous journey. I'm not going to go into it because I feel like I do it every single time on this channel and I know you're all aboard. I understand. But the first plant I want to talk about is this guy. And I have to say, this is such a pretty specimen and it does look really nice, but I've also only just cut it like 10 minutes ago. The reason for that is because they're all kind of grown up together and I kind of left them for a bit. So they're really, really long and gnarly. They make beautiful cuttings. Don't get me wrong. This is obviously the head of one of them but I need to kind of go and propagate the rest of them. So this beautiful plant here we see hopefully I really do hope that my focus is going to play ball today but this gorgeous plant here is Raphidophora tetrasperma variegata. Hold it up a bit closer otherwise known as mini monstera except it's not a monstera guys it is just a Raphidophora. It's a Raphidophora okay call it what you want I don't give a shit anymore I don't give a shit anymore but these plants are absolutely mint. Why are they mint? And this will be a theme throughout the video. Similar to last week's video where there was a given theme through the easy plants, there will be a given theme through these plants. The Raphidophora tetrasperma, the non-variegated version, has been in garden centers for years, okay? It's tough as nails. Generally, generally, I say this all the time, if you want to buy a good variegated plant, you go for something whose, whose mother, you know what I mean, the plant itself is in a garden center because it means it's very, very tough. Or they wouldn't be sold in garden centers. They wouldn't get to us. Imagine, if you will, the sheer amount of torment plants go through. Not just in garden centers, not sort of shitting on every garden center, but say, for example, big box stores, right? You get what I'm saying? For plants to survive that, they must be good. And this one here is no exception. And I absolutely love this. Is it worth thousands and thousands and thousands? No, it's not. But we're over it. It's in the past. Now, I think you can get them for maybe really high double digits, really low treble digits. Not entirely sure. My information is way off. I haven't sold one in months. I do need to take some cuttings, root them and sell them again. But that won't be for a little while. I guess spring. So we'll just see what the value is then. So any value I give you in this video, serious grain of salt needed here, 100%. And of course it varies depending on where you're from. But Raphidophora tetrasperma, what a beautiful plant, honestly. It's so pretty. I do get the hype. You know what? I do get the hype. I wasn't sure, I think, before I'd ever had one for myself. But now that I have, I, I actually get it. I think they're really, really pretty. And oh my God, they're tough as nails. These guys live off fresh air, honestly. Even if you don't feed them, they will still say pretty like this. Like this is quite nice growth. You don't have to, you know, completely feed them all the time. Yes, of course it helps, but it's not a plant that absolutely has to have it in order to look good. So that is him. Beautiful. Oh my God, this plant. I really hope nothing happens to this plant because someone would very much enjoy this. It does have a new leaf coming and I shouldn't have cut it because it usually aborts the new leaf, but also that new leaf looks pretty white. We shall see. It was half mooning before, so we'll see what happens. But there it is. Raphidophora tetrasperma, fantastic plant. If you can get your hands on it, they're a really good price. You will not be disappointed in quality and general robustness, shall we say. 
very good plant. The next plant I want to talk about today has also become a cutting really quickly, which is probably why it might look a bit weird in the pot. You might be looking at it going, mm, okay. It's because I've chopped it. There is four cuttings, well, three if you want to get technical, in the pot. So that's why it's looking a bit weird. Again, same reason as the last plant. They've grown. It's a big, long vine. I wasn't going to hold a big, long vine up for you. I might snap it trying to get it out. So the next plant I want to talk about is this guy, which is a good way to show you this way here, I think. Can you see that? Yes. You can see what I mean. He looks a bit weird and it's just because of some grouped cuttings. Like he is very wonky. Tell you what, he's barely in there, so I will pull him out. I will pull them out. But these guys, slash this guy, it's actually the same mother. This is variegated monster at Sony Eye. Again, another one with a tumultuous journey on the internet. This used to be thousands. I think this here, I could have sold for in say 2020, you know, maybe even, well, 2021. You know, I feel like they were coming down, but definitely 2020, you could have sold this for $2,000, no problem. They usually went for about $1,000 a leaf. Pretty insane. Now they're not, thank goodness. It's a bit much, it's a bit much. But these plants, Guys, they're so easy. They're so easy. Not only that, but it's very easy to control the variegation on these as well. I should have mentioned that with the Raphidophora. It's exactly the same. Not every variegated plant is easy to control. And that's why some of the plants that I have here that are easy to look after aren't necessarily in this list because they're not as easy to control with variegation. So I have more, but these are like the really easy ones. And with this, you cannot go wrong, guys. You just can't. They grow like weeds. They grow very quick. They seem to, and I know I say this all the time, they seem to hold on to half moons when they are cut, right? And it's very odd because not many plants do, but these do. So you're kind of safe. I hate saying this, but you're kind of reasonably safe if you end up buying a one that's half and half like this. Any other plant, I would tell you to be very, very wary. These plants aren't so bad at all. And they're just, oh, they're just great, guys. They do size up. They love a good feed, obviously. Not too much light, but I would say this one's actually getting quite big. I mean, I, I got it in as like a tiny leaf and this has been neglected and the leaves are still still reasonable, to be honest. If I show you that, that is the size of my hand and it's just adding sony eye, so not bad at all, not bad at all. But yeah, fantastic plant. I don't know how much these are now. I'm pretty sure they're double digits. Easy, nearly anywhere you are. I don't think they're expensive at all. And this is due to the fact that they grow quick and they're propagatable very, very quickly as well. As predicted, they've come down. But don't sleep on them. Doesn't mean that they're not worth your time just because they're not worth money. Who on earth buys plants that way? I don't know. Maybe other than me, but I'm also a shop, so I kind of have to do that, you know? Super gorgeous plants. Gorgeous plants, gorgeous plants. I really need to make like a big trailing bush of this because it's just going to look so, 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 so good. It's definitely on my list to do. I must remember to replant this <laughs> or bad things are going to happen. I will lie that on the top and hopefully I'll remember. Woo! The next plant on my list is a fantastic variegate. It grows very, very quickly, but it's actually held some value. And I honestly, guys, I don't know why that is. I actually don't know why that is. I think this is maybe in... Oh, I don't I don't want to say in case I'm wrong, but I know it's not double digits. I think it's still triple digits. I just don't think it's super high, if you know what I mean. I think it's low triple digits. But even said, that's stayed, you know, it stayed good for a long time. I'm going to show you a specimen that I have that it does need cut, and I meant to propagate it today, but I didn't because of this video because if I didn't leave something unpropagated, I would have another leaf to show you. Okay. So it's this guy here. Oh my God. You know what? This plant on camera always looks... There's something about the variegation. I think because it's so clean on camera, it always looks really, really beastly. I love it. Like how nice is this? It's not a perfect specimen. Obviously it's had a little bit of a frying situation here, but look at this just in case you were not aware of how awesome it is. If you can see that, I have a gnat that's just desperate to fly towards the camera. It's doing my tits in. Right, there you go. How nice is he? Now, this plant, honestly, it just, it's indestructible, honestly. I know I keep saying this. I bought maybe something a little bit bigger than this. I don't know, a couple of years ago, I had one plant and I've made a ton of money off it. It's just great. It doesn't let you down. It propagates well. The variegation is, I wouldn't say it was super stable, as you can see, but it's its reasonably predictable. It's reasonably predictable. And this plant has been chopped from a couple of times. Definitely a couple of times at the bottom. Can you see? Can you see? Yes, pretty much. There were some dead leaves I've chopped off, but other than that, that's him. He just looks great. I think these photograph well, as you can probably tell by showing them on camera. They look even better than, say, the Agnesonia and stuff like that. The Raffer 4 looks good, but this... <sighs> This is nice. And for a syngonium as well, it's heart-shaped. And you don't always get a lot of heart-shaped syngoniums. They're normally more arrow-shaped and stuff like that. So it's a nice variation to have because to be honest, 
I think if you didn't know that this was a Syngonium, you might say it was a Philodendron. You might say it was a philodendron. And I think it's really nice. And I think it stands up really nicely against variegated philodendron types and variegated monstera. I think it's really, really pretty. Look how nice that is. So yeah, really nice one to have. I promise you, given the fact I've only ever had one plant and I have, I don't know, I just propagated them today. I have a tray up here, right? Granted, it's green, this one here, because I put the low variegates in this tray and then I moved high variegates over there. But then, but then, when I was preparing for this video, I saw off camera with some of my um, variegated golden dragons, I saw even more of it. So I've missed some. So I need to do another round of propagation. So I probably got two tubs of variegates and that's without selling those, if you know what I mean. Obviously, I've sold some over time. So I don't think you can go wrong with these. I really don't. I think you can make some really pretty plants. I think you could put multiple around a pole and get it really nice and big and bushy. I think sky's the limit with this one. So I couldn't recommend it more. I really couldn't. There you go. Syngonium chiapensi variegated. And uh, roots, not going to be a problem for you. Trust me on that. Roots like new tomorrow. Come to think of it, I don't know if I see Syngonium chiapensi in garden centres. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I think I see Syngonium Frosted Heart around, but I don't know if I see Chia Pensy. Let me know in the comments below if Chia Pensy is generally in garden centers, because honestly it should be, it's a really nice plant. I just don't really see it. Anyway, this next plant is in a garden center, at least the plant underneath that is, and I absolutely love this plant. This is not the only type of this plant that is easy. Nearly any of these plants are easy. I've not had a problem. I've got a gorgeous silvery one stood at my feet that I'm not going to pick up because I always pick it up, but I got to show you this guy. I got to show you this guy. This is, it's a spathophyllum hybrid, right? I don't know what the hell that is, but I know that's lecker, that's very irritating. But what I do know is variegated spathophyllum in general, tough. The variegation isn't changing the level of toughness that the plant has. Sometimes that can happen. Sometimes that can happen. Variegated gloriosum, for example, little bit less tough, little bit less tough. This, exactly the same, exactly the same. You might notice here and there, or is it not this one? Sorry, that's my heater, I'm gonna have to shout now. I can't do anything about it. You might notice here that God, that is loud. It's probably going on for like two minutes. You might notice here there's the odd snip. That is because, if any of you remember, around Christmas time, I filmed the video with the hole, I put it in a bucket, I went away for the weekend, and it didn't sit in any water at all. It completely wilted, and some of the tips went crispy. But, a bit of water came back to life. That doesn't tell you how tough it is. What will? What will? Really, really gorgeous plant. I don't know how much these are. Again, I don't even like saying how much things are anyway because they go out of date. And whether something is easy or not, the price of it shouldn't really influence it. Do you know what I mean? But this is a gorgeous, gorgeous plant. Now, I don't know what color the variegation is coming off on camera, but in person, it is a little bit limey. I won't lie, it's a bit limey. I don't know whether you can see that or not. Certainly in my viewfinder before I've edited, it does look a bit limey. I have no doubt that these won't go a bit more creamy because I think that they do. I do think, however, that this is winter. So I would love to come back at you in about four months, say, and show you what color these are. Cause I only have two big ones, funny enough. I didn't, I bought them to sell, but I also didn't, if that makes sense. But I only have two big ones. So I'd love to see the progression on color because I do believe in the summer they will get really bright. I think this liminess is a winter thing. It's not lime variegation, it's supposedly yellow variegation. But some of these do make it look like it can turn cream. Like look at the older leaf here. Can you see this? Can you see this? That to me looks like it could go quite creamy, right? So we'll see. But any spathophyllum, guys, I can't stress this enough. Any spathophyllum you could have, I'm telling you now, I'm going out on a limb. Have I had every one? No. Every single one that I have had though is so easy, so easy. I am actually gonna pick the silver one up because why not? Honorable mention, this guy here, so amazingly good, so amazingly good. This is, I think what's known as Spathophyllum Ghost or Platinum or something close to that. I call it Spathophyllum Ghost. Just as easy, just as awesome. Honestly, fantastic plant, love them. Any Spathophyllum, I do have a great big giant one that y'all have seen before that is slightly different variety, I think, but still just as tough. Don't water it, it'll wilt, it'll come back, all good. So I think you can't go wrong with any type of spathophyllum at all. But in terms of variegates, this one is also good. How noisy is that? I really hope my noise cancelling works. 
Because if I sound like I'm shouting, by the way, I might have fixed all these problems for you in post, but I'm still having to shout over the heater to heat myself. Bet you didn't think I was gonna hold this bad boy up. Me neither, but you know what? You can't ignore it, guys, you can't ignore it. So this is what's known as variegated Monstera. It's small form for anyone that is wondering. It's simply small form variegated Monstera. It's been around ages. Um, I think you can get half decent stuff on the market now. I don't even know. I haven't checked. I know a while ago you absolutely could not get decent stuff and it, was, it wasn't a good situation. You basically get that. Um, I mean, that's not bad. This has come off... I assume it's come off that tree there, there, <laughs> and not the wall because I couldn't possibly get up on the wall. But I just wanted to mention it really quickly to let you know that I do still like the plant. And for a variegated plant, it's awesome. Also, the thing I think a lot of people like about this plant is that the variegation is white. It is white, white, white. It's not cream, it's not yellowy, it's lily white. It's a bit similar to the Syngonium chiapensi um, that I held up before, except this is arguably a little bit more white. It's one of the whitest. Um, variegates in there. It's very fresh, it's very awesome, and it's very easy to grow, easy to propagate. You can find one Nelly anywhere, Facebook, eBay, Etsy, plant shops. You're not sure on them, and honestly, if you've waited this long, it really is the time to grab them. And if you don't like it, you can probably get a shot of it very, very easy as well. No love lost. But I still love these, and I still think they're absolutely amazing. Don't get it twisted. I know I don't mention them much, but I do think they're great. I think I just had a bit of a sour taste at some points, just due to what the supplies were up to, because it was a bit... It, trust me, it was a bit much, you know? I realise I've put that down quite quickly, but... <laughs> I went to the gym two days ago and I've had to have two days off because I am so, so, so sore from my workout. I made a new workout plan for myself and it hurts. It hurts so much. I couldn't even carry my shopping last night. It still hurts. So moving on to our final plant, I think. Yeah, our final plant. It's not an honorable mention, but it is like a last minute addition. That's because I've only had them recently and I've only discovered them recently. I've had them about... <sighs> Wasn't long before Christmas I got them in, I think. These are small, I've got larger ones as well, the same size as Bathophyllum. But I wanna to talk to you about these guys. I really wanna to talk to you about these guys. This is, again, it is a Philodendron Congo hybrid and it's variegated, right? I don't know what with, but what I can tell you is, it is a, it's just as tough as Philodendron Congo. And again, that's mainly, not always, but mainly the running theme of this video. If something's in a garden center, the variegated version is gonna be just as strong. For example, Raphnophora tetrasperma, we had in the beginning, garden center. Congo, garden center. Uh, Spathophyllum, garden center. Monstera deliciosa, garden center. Uh, Monstera ansonii, garden center. You feel me? That's how you win. And this is no exception. Now, I haven't seen many of these around. I'm sure they're gonna, you know, they're gonna arrive, but I really, really like these. And let me tell you something. These haven't even changed, like not even one little bit since the day I brought them in. No yellow leaf, no leaf drop, not really any crispiness, I don't think. Like I could show you 20 of these in succession, maybe more, maybe my entire batch. I've got two whole trays full. And, oh, it's tough to shout anymore now. And they all look the same. They all look the same, literally. Watch this, watch this. I'll literally grab, I don't know, five of them together very, very quickly. One, two, three, four. Well, I'll grab four because it's easier. <laughs> My little hands can't hold five. Just picking random plants up, they all look the same. They all look the same. They've not changed one little bit. They look so pretty. Look at these. Ooh, they're really, really nice, guys. And to be fair, they just, they're just tough. Am I surprised? No, obviously, because of what I said before, because of the whole garden center thing. But still, still really, really good. Really, really good. Oh, put that in there. I love those plants so much. Let's grab the one I actually picked. Yeah, I wish I knew what this was a hybrid with. Same as the Spathophyllum, to be honest, because I, I don't know. But if you do know, let me know down below if these are starting to circulate and you actually know what they are. Because I don't. They were literally just sold to me as a hybrid, but tell you something, immaculate, immaculate. Now, the variegation, I don't know what color this looks. It's quite yellowy, but it, some of them are kind of white looking, and I've shown this on camera before. They have actually all cooled down a little bit. Don't know if I've got any white ones now. Mm, yes and no. If I hold up this one here, 
you will see what I mean. There's sort of yellow, sort of white. Can you see that there? So there's yellow and white on it. If I just move that leaf there, let me show you that up close. I hope this one I'm wiggling looks white because honestly it is. And then there is another leaf there that looks more whitey. So, hmm, if I had to make a guarantee on them, I would say it was yellow variegation, but some of them definitely have white elements shall we say but doesn't matter what color they are i'm here to tell you that these are absolutely amazing and i don't doubt they're not going to ship like a dream because they did to me um i actually have some of these up now not a plug literally i just i can't tell you how good they are i literally can't but oh yeah one last thing the bags look good as well and with this last plant, that concludes my easy variegated house plants. Again, it's not the only plants I would pick out of here. It's just the ones that I honestly stand by and I think are tough, easy. That's not an issue on variegation or anything like that. You should be fine picking any one of the plants that I've mentioned in today's video. If you like today's video, please leave a like down below and let me know that I'm making content that you enjoy. And if you are not already subscribed, I would absolutely adore it if you could do so. My merch that I'm really badly supporting today is in the description also. Stay tuned because shortly there may just be some more merch coming. Members, you will hear about it first as last time and you will have an opportunity to purchase it first before anybody else does. So if you want to become a member, there should be a button I think it's near the subscribe button for my channel. You can't always see it, but you can click that join button, become a member. Even the lowest tier will get you that information and you will be able to have early access to my merch. So without further ado, I will love you and leave you. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Any video request down below, I will love you and leave you and I shall see you next time. Bye.